Right. Yeah, yeah. Streaming is the future. It already, it always was, but then because of this crisis, it got like fast tracked a good like three years, I guess. Anyway, Andrick, Abin Man, best of five winners finals. I I'm uh, really curious to see the combos from Andrick. I think he's gonna like go crazy on Rob if he gets a good hit. And then it's gonna be like AB Man trying to say like, wait a minute, this guy's crazy. I need to start hitting gyros <laughs> and slow him down <laughs> before I get destroyed. He also has a really good edge guarding tool with the side B, the forward airs, the down airs on Falcon's recovery. But let me just get this raw knee. Rob's so big. I, I think that raw knee is even more effective than usual. Yeah. I also like the use of the uh, Falcon dive. This is a B, right? Falcon dive. The command grab from Falcon. Oh, dive. rapid boost. No. Falcon oh, Falcon dive. Yeah, fa yeah. It, I'm gonna look for the technical term. I'll come back to you, shots on this one. Yeah, whatever his command grab is called, the up B. He he held the gyro in his hand and then he just grabbed Ape Man while still holding the gyro. It, it, it can kill and he can. Uh, Oh, it's just a really high damaging move in general. See, look, Andrick knows he can mash out in the down throw really quick. So he just mashes out and buffers air dodge. So he doesn't get hit by a free uh, up air. Yeah. It is called the Falcon Dive, by the way. It's it's just a weird name. I wouldn't call it a dive. It's more like a Falcon Ascend. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I knew it was called Falcon Dive. I'll never know why it's called Falcon Dive, but yeah. Anyway, no platform required. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't need the platform assist for the up throw at that percent. I will tell you Usually right now, for man. Andrick, though. Yeah, oh. Usually good corner, decent corner care, I would say, for Ape Man. Doesn't get to finish it off with a few down tilts. He oh, reads the directional air no. dodge to grab the ledge. No. What a clean play from Bro, Ape Man. Bro, Andrick got so greedy with those raw knees, just trying to kill Rob, and Ape Man's like, Oh, what okay, was this? What was this? And thanks for the SD what on stage. What was this? Andrick, what are you doing? You hate to see it. This guy actually just, he's got spiked off stage like at what, 20, 30? Then he's, he, he just all downhill from there. <laughs> I'm still in shock. <laughs> yeah, he he got spiked. He he got his, basically, Ape Man had read his direction of air dodge, which is a common practice a lot of people do to grab the ledge, especially fearing things like forward air or down air. But in that process, Ape Man knows down air has a lot of good active frames that because of the active frames of things like neutral air, down air, and back air, it's so worth going for, even if your opponent directional air dodges or even air dodges in general. Yeah. What a good that call from Ape Man. Man yeah. Just Oh, so bad. Yeah, it was really yeah. bad. It was really bad. Now, now, now I'm saying he, what he, like, he's bad. I'm saying, like, that was a bad scenario. Like, yeah, that was a yeah, bad yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, you're right, you're right. He's not bad for it. It's just a bad situation to be put in. And 8 Man knows that that's a, such a common practice for players on Wi-Fi, even in offline, that it's so good to just understand those habits and then find that as a good opportunity to get a punish on your opponent that you know is going to be true. Yeah, that was rough. But that just goes to show how good Ape Man is. Like, he literally will see one mistake and he's like, cool, thank you. I, I win now. <laughs> Even when he was getting tossed around, like, so much that game. Um, no, 34. Betting is actually still open. If you guys are still using your channel points, uh, you guys can still have time to place your bets in your channel points for, like, the next minute and 40 seconds and counting. I feel like you should close bets early because, like, people will just start betting on whoever wins the first game or something. People do that all the time and they've been wrong. Andrik proved them wrong last time. We'll see if he proves them wrong here. Or well, it's potentially game two, maybe game three for Andrik. Maybe game five. I'm sorry, not even game three. It's best of five here in one of his finals. Ape it, man. Yep. What a lead stealer, I would say, man, because he definitely understood Andrik was scared in his boots. He was not afraid to read those habits the players go for when they're offstage. Yeah, Something off with that's an excellent thing, though, like, <gasps> oh, no. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm starting to think there's some type of delay messing with Andrik right now. Because what's happening to him off stage? <laughs> he just down tilted him. No, and it's good he's for Ape Man to understand, delay. like, if he's going to be at the ledge, dude, you can just go for the down tilt. It's an excellent poke on the stage. It's a great oh. poke off the stage. When your opponent's at the ledge. Gotta say, I'm... Um, 
I'm glad that Andrew didn't get spiked for going for that spot. <laughs> that was such a good narrow. Oh. But it doesn't even matter because you just get sniped off stage. Goodbye. Look, man, I, I don't want to. I don't want to write the script early and tell you guys that Ape Man might be the only three-time MSMO winner, but it's looking like it's a possibility, man, because Andrik is nowhere to be found here in game, game two. Yeah, it's already really, really hard for him right now. What a catch. Oh, he, that catch drift back on his up was not good. He's dead. Yeah, he's gone he's for dead, it. dude. He drifted back and Ape Man's like, cool, you don't have a jump now. I'm just going to hit you out of this. This, your recovery is so free, like, I, I'm just going to edge guard you, thanks. <sighs> thanks. Thanks indeed. That's the thing about Falcon, dude. His recovery pun, he's such a threat on the ground in the air at times, but when he's off stage, he doesn't have the best insurance policy, I'm telling you, man. He's only got that up B, and a character like Rob can definitely read that when he goes for a Z drop gyro, a down air, a down tilt at times. There's a lot of things that Rob can do when Falcon's off the ledge or off stage. Yeah. Really rough. Falcon game. can Falcon can really mess up Rob if they can stay on the stage. Yeah. If the if the fight stays on the stage for a long time, then then Falcon can do a lot. But if he's constantly being pushed up the ledge and put in bad spots to recover off stage against Rob, especially one that's playing as well as Ape Man right now, it's very rough. And you can already see it. Uh, Andrik just looks really scared as soon as he's put off stage against yeah. Ape Man. Like, he's either he doesn't press a button or he just starts air dodging preemptively. Pretty rough yeah. right and now. It, and it's respectable, too, because look at the pressure that Ape Man is able to do with Rob. Right? It, call, it forces you into the situations where you have to go for, like, an air dodge, a spot dodge, or an opportunity where you might have to go for your recovery a little bit earlier or later. We'll see, man. Yeah. Kalos, do or die here for Andrik. Yeah, this is probably his best bet, I would say. If he's gonna keep getting hit off stage like this, at least he has a wall to recover with. It get a little bit diff more difficult. He's also been really good, as you can see, with the platform combos, too. So. Let's see what Andrew can do in this game. Excellent tech from Meepit, man. You gotta be careful if you don't take against Falcon. What an excellent nice. use opp opportunity to go for the platform extension here with up air all the way to the back air. Andrew, yep. looks like he's waking up, man. He might he, he's not out of it just yet. That was just smart because he went for probably the best aerial to combo with the up air there. Uh, knee wouldn't have reached. And um, yeah, he got the, like, the platform to get enough space to dash. Uh, Rar back there, there to connect that. That was really good for him. Now, Andrew was in this position game one. Really good first stock. And then uh, a few mistakes to like an offstage edge guard. It just d went downhill for him. So let's see if he doesn't make that mistake again. Yeah, let's see. Ape Man. Small lead here at 20%, only separating the two roughly here. But finally, Andrew with a back air looking to finish him off with a down air. He sees off stage, goes for the jab, nice. He can move a lot of stage control, sets up the gyro, covers an opportunity when he went for the roll. Okay, he's going to stall his recovery a little bit, but still at the ledge. Going to go high. Nice, these are some good juggles for, uh, for Andrew, honestly. Anything to keep Rob in the air against Falcon is usually really good. Oh! I think that's what Andrew was looking Falcon. for, too. He's trying to keep Ape yeah, Man in the air. You want that? Who's that kill with the up smash? Andrew is not really giving it to him though. You and gotta be careful. I think the next time Ape Man throws that shit, that move out that close to Andrew, he might just die. Yeah, you can tell that Ape Man wants to call Andrew for going for a lot of things like Nara one or just empty hopping in general, because he knows how comfortable Andrew might be feeling going for those moves, especially with how safe he's been using Nara one on the shield. What a call from Lucha. We talked about how it has some great lasting hitbox. Robo arms from the tail end. It's gonna scoop up Falcon even from the ledge. That's a good play for Ape Man. Yeah, Andrick, I guess the Ape Man's hand guard. stock. No back there. I like it. He's holding on the center stage here. Able to armor through He's with Rocker Boost. Was he able to get the strong hit afterwards, though? But there's that parry into the Falcon kick. 
<laughs> Show when you catch the gyro with there. It is. Yeah, it, yeah, it's that, a, that it's falcon a good kick. Uh, that falcon kick knocked my buff. Really good for a falcon, especially because the, the start when that move is really fast. You can just kind of throw it out. Not easy to react to a lot of times, especially online. So it can be some surprise uh, kills for the Falcon. Nice catch. Here. Oh, okay. I was gonna nope. say that was really scary because the last time he had Ape Man at that platform, he went for a downer and he went for a backer, and it was curtains for Ape Man. So it was yeah. scary here. Andrick definitely waking up. Down tilt, no back here for him though, but he gets hit by the down smash. Andrick, I like how he's using this movement now, looking for these double jumps, empty hops. He's looking to break through Ape Man one way or another. Oh, went for a gyro follow up. Wasn't able to get a knee. What a cover. What a cover from Aven, man. He knows if I can't get the upper, I have enough. Oh! That gyro is there, always. Always at the ledge. So much coverage, dude. Andrick thought he was safe to get off the ledge from avoiding the first back air. Didn't realize that the gyro hitbox still active. 